All right, welcome. Uh, my name is Pranoy, uh, Pranoy Day, and I'm a Principal Solutions Engineer with Contrast Security. Uh, the purpose of this video today is to walk you through the Contrast ADR solution, what it does, where we fit, uh, and what problems we solve. So having said that, uh, let's jump into it. The modern SOC or SecOps teams today, um, they have a complex landscape, uh, they have a difficult problem to solve, uh, and they have the burden of securing your production environments across a vast cybersecurity threat landscape. To do that, a SOC will buy a lot of different types of tools, endpoint detection tools, intrusion detection prevention tools, CNAP, email security, uh, data loss prevention, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and they're supposed to provide you visibility, detection, and response capabilities across attacks such as malware, uh, privilege abuse, DDoS attacks, loss of PII data, viruses, ransomware, phishing, so on and so forth. The list goes on really. Included in that set of responsibilities also are things such as zero day attacks, supply chain attacks, and other application layer attacks as well. Now, while these investments that you make in endpoint detection tools, CNAP tools, uh, they get you very good coverage across a decent number of cybersecurity threats. The problem is when you look specifically just at the application layer, the only tool that SOGs largely use right now is a WAF or a web application firewall. Now, the problem is this. A web application firewall basically is good at certain things. It's good at blocking network layer traffic like DDoS attacks, volume-based attacks. But when it comes to more intelligently crafted payloads that are directed at the application, it becomes very easy to bypass the WAF because WAFs just have signatures. They're very static in nature. They look for specific signatures and attacks, and when the attacker figures out a way around it, the WAF loses all visibility. And that's the problem that Contrast ADR solves. We basically provide you with that additional layer of visibility that is missing right now, and we do it from directly inside the application. So as your apps are being exploited, as your apps are being targeted by attackers that have bypassed the WAF, we step in and give you that additional layer. We can detect all sorts of attacks that are directed at the application that pertain to your software composition analysis or open source software. And most importantly, we actually give you a strategy on how to detect and prevent and even block against complete unknown zero-day vulnerabilities when they get announced. So having said that, let's jump in and see how this looks in action. So let's look at what this would look like in real life. What I have here is a sample application that's sitting behind all the defenses you would have purchased. So behind a web application firewall, you've got some endpoint detection, you've got container security, um, and whatever other tools like email, internet. But this is an application. So all that an attacker has to do to bypass and exploit this is go past the WAF. And that's easy enough to do because a WAF, again, is static signatures. And with a little bit of trial and error, it's very easy to understand how you can manipulate your input payload so that the WAF doesn't recognize it. So it, it, let's say I figured out like how the WAF or what signatures the WAF has here. And this is an attack signature that the WAF is not catching. Uh, and this is all I'm gonna do right now to exploit it. So as I enter this attack payload, which is a signature the WAF doesn't have, I can easily exploit the application but what's scary is that the organization has no way of detecting once you've gone past the WAF. Endpoint detection, uh, network detection, CNAP tools, all of those tools would look at something like this as legitimate normal traffic because you're hiding in the context of the application. This is not abnormal. There is nothing special because this is a request coming through the application, hitting the database and returning the data. But even though this is happening within the context of the application, the attacker has access to critical information now, has access to PII data or anything else, and you would never even know about it as an organization until the attacker held you ransom or released your information publicly. And by then, it's too late to respond and do anything about it. So how is your life different if you've got contrast security running? If the attacker attempted the exact same thing, contrast would identify this and report it to whatever tools you're using. In this case, that could be a SIM, an XDR tool, or anything else you're using to capture your alerts. The main point of difference, of course, is that we didn't do it based on findings of signature. We did it 
because we identified malicious behavior happen inside your application. So as soon as an attacker exploited your app and got access to that critical information in the database, Contrast would alert you instantly. We would let you know that someone exploited your application. This was the attack payload. This is the endpoint that was impacted. And we give you a bunch of metadata. Now, we are very cognizant of the fact that people working in the security operations center are getting alerts from countless different tools. And to that effect, Contrast does two things that will not add to your burden. Number one, anything that we send you is going to be a high fidelity finding. And the second is that it's going to be extremely rich in context, which means you can do a very detailed and quick analysis at the same time to make a determination on if further action needs to be taken on this or not. Now, when you look at your SOC tier one, tier two folks, they may not always have in-depth application security expertise. So contrast makes it easy for you. It gives you out of the box guidance on what steps do you have to take to do that initial triage. If you look at any of the events that come in, you can run our runbooks, which give you a guide as to what steps do you have to take to make quick assertions on what is the impact? How do I verify this alert? And you will give you that information. You can go further down and see, depending on the kind of input that's come in, if you have an exploited event, what steps do you have to take? Who do you have to escalate to? What additional technical analysis has to be done? But most importantly, what are my response strategies? If you didn't have contrast, your strategies would largely revolve around maybe blocking the IP at the network layer, or maybe adding a signature in the WAF. But we understand the problems with those approaches already. Attackers can change IPs very easily. WAF signatures can be bypassed. And also, when you keep adding signatures in such a short time frame, you have the risk of overblocking normal traffic, which could be a serious business impact. But what Contrast allows you to do is significantly level up your capabilities in responding to application-specific attacks like this. We give you containment options that are right out of the box that are not signature-based, but rather behavior-based. You don't have to be an expert to turn on blocking. You just have to tell Contrast to block it. That's how powerful the tool is. So when you go into the same event, you can look at your attack event details, get additional context, look at things like, okay, well, what was the exact stack trace? What is the attack path that this attacker used? And once you've made that assertion that this is actually an incident, it needs to be blocked, you can tell Contrast very easily that if anybody tries to run a similar type of exploit, please go ahead and block it. As simple as that.